which is pretty baller. Give us something good. Thirty percent projectile projectile speed. Oh, and we got a ring. Oh my goodness. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys aren't in the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. You guys can also tap that bell notification to notify when new videos live, as I do upload every single day, and you guys don't want to miss out. But without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We are playing Thyra, <clears throat> and we are running the bow on the good old Jotunheim, the ice palace, man. Let's get this, uh, let's get this show on the road. Hopefully we can make some uh, some good stuff going here. Um. Ooh, the arrows look insane with the skin. <laughs> they look very interesting. Um, let's see. I don't know exactly. I don't. I don't think there's really anything, any way to go like a a fire build on Thyra unless we like pick up, um, <clears throat> like fire weapons or something. Or like a chance to burn enemies, or poison burns enemies, or something of that sort. So, we'll see though. Um, I guess we'll start uh, juicing this bad boy up. <clears throat> uh, area could be interesting. Damage of projectiles is the big one though. I mean, that's a pretty big crit increase. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that though. <clears throat> Just because, um, I mean, we could go as crit, but I don't think crit, I think more projectiles and damage with the bow is, uh, better off at the moment. I'm sure that'll end up changing, but that's like the plan at the moment. This is 200%, um, attraction, which is huge. This is effect prob. This actually could be, I don't want to say worth it, but we could use it. Um, for, uh, we could use it for, um, whatchamacallit, to, uh, establish poison on, uh, our enemies. It should not be a problem there. <laughs> and we're running easy, so, like, I'm not really worried about this at all. Or, not easy, but normal. So it should be a pretty pretty slick run, you know. Pretty pretty slick slick run. Alright, so we got that. We have one more way down here I wanna go for. Yeah, extra blue heart and extra red heart. Or no, just an empty red heart. It looks like. Yeah, one empty red heart. Okay, cool. So I'll grab you. I'm going to roll, 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 roll. It's going to be projectiles and damage if I can get it. That's tempting, but no bueno. Alright. I love how the arrows, like, wave through the sky. It's very, uh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to run up here to the mine, see what we got going on. I think the next, uh, when we get around to Axeldor, I think we'll be able to upgrade a good chunk of, of stuff. I think we're going to be able to upgrade a good chunk of uh, meta progression, which will help out quite a bit. Would help out quite a bit. I'm going to grab this. Like, There's six more gold. Like, We're going to cap out pretty dang quickly, I feel like. Like, we're already making insane progress. Nothing too crazy. Boom speed could be a good one. I feel like we got the zoomies going now. This feels phenomenal. 
Um, I guess I'll dash up here. Grab you. I'm just gonna run down to this ring. Pick the ring up and just run around a little more. It's like, we don't need to pick the gold up if we have this ring. Like, at the moment, you know? I'll stock up on some more gold drops, hopefully, around the around the realm. <clears throat> we'll just pick them up there. Other than the mine, the mine will constantly continue to pick up. All right. Okay. I think there's enough to get us to like sixty, maybe. Maybe sixty-five. No, oh, 66. Pretty dang close. Okay. I mean, this is, like, we're juiced, man. Seventy-two. Up to seventy-six. Yeah, we're looking pretty juiced. Um... Yeah, I'm going to roll this till we get uh, damage projectiles. Just like that. Hit you. Like, I think I said I was going to go Revna and Bow build this one, so we're going to try it. We are going to try it. See if we can get anything to work there. I don't know how, how well it'll be, but we'll try. Okay, grab you. That, make our way over here to the movement one. Like a wave clear feels phenomenal. No, no complaints there on the wave clear. Like wave clear feels pretty good. Oh, and an XP ring. Holy shnikes, you're spoiling us, baby. You're spoiling us. We're almost 99 gold as well. Oh, man, that's it. That's going to get us there. Slowly. I mean, we might get it. We might not. Um, I do want to try and juice up some of this, though. Just to get as much going as possible. For uh, when we fight the bosses. I don't want to have to sit there and like stand still for like two minutes trying to kill the boss. I want to just wipe it out and call it a day. Wipe it out and call it a day. Lady Bothild. Alright. Ooh, almost got me there. Dude, she is so freaking fast, man. Okay, but we killed her. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Grab this. If you guys didn't see the last episode, we got uh, Amaranth or Noki over here. Or Helga or somebody over there now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll take that. Um, effect prep could be good. Well, I'm going to skip out of that. Projectile speed. Burn damage, poison into burn damage, and then burn damage could be good with a red heart. We could go pea sprout, dude. That'd be insane. Um, we have that damage while you have one less than one red heart, which isn't gonna work. We have poison. Could go crit. That could be interesting. I'm tempted to just go all in on uh, effect prob to get 100% of that. Damage, Red Heart, X Speed. Um, sure, we'll take Duration, I guess. And yeah, we'll come over here real quickly. Um, we'll do this one. So we get the big arrow. We'll juice this guy up. We'll get you. We'll get you. Get you. We'll do Poison. I guess we'll probably do this one. It's going to be my my guess. 
We'll see though. We'll see though. We're we're sitting in a pretty good spot. Where I'm not really worried about anything. The big arrows is huge. But we should be we should be sitting pretty good. And I got the burn damage, so we should only go up to I think three stacks instead of five. Okay, this one will be pretty huge. 20% chance that when an enemy is poisoned, a cloud of poison will dis will appear, damaging surrounding enemies with a chance of poisoning them. That's actually kind of huge for our build. So we shall see. I mean, nothing's making it on our screen right now, so we're pretty pretty juiced up as is. Pretty juiced up as is. Can't complain too much there. So we got that. Run up here, we'll grab this gold, loop around, go to run down, grab the uh, other gold. And then we'll hit up those other two. Looks like we got a gold shrine, we got an XP ring. Uh, oh, because we dropped the one that we originally had. Okay. Use that, we'll grab this. We're probably gonna need 15 gold, I'm assuming. Either 15 or 20. I believe right now it's 15. Next wave is going to be 20. So I'm going to try and pick up as much gold as I can on my way over there. Okay. Looking good. Oh, we are not picking that one up. That's a no bueno for that one. I mean, crit? Nerfs a random stat? I mean, why not? I'll take it, I guess. I guess I'll take it. A lot of XP drops, which is huge. Coins. We got six here. Make our way back down there. I mean, we're looking pretty good all around. We're basically one-shotting everything. Other than I think the big giants. Now what did it nerf? Damage? Ooh, that's kind of a bummer. But we also got... What, 15% crit now? I don't think that was really worth it. I don't think that was worth it at all. But it is what it is. Okay. Looking good. Oh, we still have... Oh, no, never mind. We decided we weren't going to take that one. Okay. We are critting, but very minimal. Okay. No, I didn't want to... Ah, crap, Ola, man. Okay, let's just avoid that one with all, at all costs. Can't believe I just did that. Can't believe I just did that. Let's grab you. We'll run over here. Grab this one. Pick up some gold. 20 gold, not looking too good in the gold department. Not looking too hot there. We'll probably end around like 40-ish is my guess. Maybe 50 if we get lucky. Right now we're not looking too lucky. Okay. Alright, I mean, we're looking pretty dang good so far. Okay. Alright, not bad. Um, We have the ring for the XP, so I'm not too worried about all of that. Gold, though, is a little limited. 32... Not super great, but hey, you take what you can get. Not the end of the world. 
Dude, that guy freaking dashes across the screen. Holy shnikes. All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? We want to do this one. Um, cooldown actually probably would be better off right now. Area. 100% area. Uh, and I'll throw some points into Revna. Why not? Why not? Get some points into Revna, see what she can do. I mean, we're getting a good chunk of XP. And I love the 200% XP, uh, like, pickup range. That it's, like, probably one of the best items on here. Like, being able to pick up that much is just super nice. Because if you don't have that, like, you definitely need a ring. Even if you do have it, you still need a ring because you still don't pick up all the XP. So, more the merrier. Yeah, about 40 XP is where uh, where I said we'd probably be, and that's exactly where we uh, just about are. Oh, crap, dude. I totally just walked into that. Twice. Okay. Well, we killed him. We killed him. Not bad. Grab you, grab you. Ooh. Minions and elites die. I mean, we're already killing everything right off the bat. Burned enemies. I'm going to take that. Projectile speed. Projectile speed. No, I should have took the ring. Cooldown. Poison. Oh, dang. I should have took that ring. Because now I don't have it. Well, shucks. Hopefully we get one to drop. Hopefully we get one to drop. I'll take that one. I'll take cooldown and uh, whatchamacallits. I'll take that. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's see here. Ceilings probably aren't going to be too high. I mean, we got 50 gold right here. I'll take that. It ain't no uh, XP ring, but I'll take it. 50 gold is 50 gold, baby. I wonder if, like, if, it's, if there's a possibility where we could try and focus Revna, like, super hard. Get both ascensions in it. Go damage projectiles, maybe a little bit of area. And see, like, how ham Revna is. So I feel like it might not be that good, but then again, like, you never know. We never really gave Revna a fair shot at it. So, I mean, you never know. Okay. Two, one. Oh, there's what? Friggin' like 50 gold right there. Didn't we just... We just picked it up. How is there another one here? What the heck? I mean, I just broke the, the crystal uh, cooldown one, which is a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer. Yeah, I'll take this one. Um, We might go into poison bombs if we have... If we have enough like experience points left over... Where we've upgraded our ultimate and all that to max. And we have some points left over. I'll throw them in. To like Poison Bomb or something. But it all I think comes down to if we can get a ring. You need to get an experience ring. To be able to do that. Because right now we're sitting super tight. And all that, we need an XP ring if we want to really uh, make a difference there. Let's take this one. Okay.
No XP rings still. We are almost capped out on gold, though. Which is pretty baller. Give us something good. Thirty percent projectile projectile speed. Oh, and we got a ring. Oh my goodness, dude. You ask and you receive. I'll take that. It looks like there is another one. I don't want that one. What the heck is going on? Now we got Astrid's shield? Sure, might as well. It like they regenerate or something after you clear one? I guess I didn't understand uh, that one that I took before. We're at 95 gold. I mean, that's good enough. That's close enough to 100. I don't even think we're going to get this. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. It's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Uh, I lose out on one gold there, so I'm going to take this first, then I'll take you. Generation I don't want. We don't have a golden Noki, so I'm not going to worry about any of that. Movement speed, projectile speed, back prods, I'll bump us up to 35, that's not terrible. Grab you, I'll grab more effect prob, up to 40. Um, area, cooldown, cooldown. I'll take this guy right here just to see where we land. I think I'm going to go with the damage on this one. We'll probably end up... Oh, crap. I got 24 points. We're going to probably smoke this guy pretty quick. So I'm going to do this one, this one, this one. Yeah, we're going to come up here. We're going to press R, and hopefully we smoke it. Boom, dead. Dead. Too easy, dude. There's four right there. Too easy. Too flipping easy. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, Thyra there. If so, make sure you just tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, um, don't forget to tap that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and it helps me out a lot. And, uh, yeah, increase damage by 5% for each projectile you have. Increase by one Thyra's innate skill maximum projectiles. I think I'm going to go for this one because I'm always running projectiles. But, yeah, in the next episode, we'll run uh, Half Grim and we'll see what we got going on there. But, once again, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.